Okay, good morning, folks. Welcome to Swing Trading Today. This is Bob Desmond. It is May the 3rd, 528 in the a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Let's begin with what we're going to talk about today. First off, we're going to talk about a chart of the gold mining ETF NUGT. Then we are going to swing over and into the pre-market activity. I'm going to try to keep this video about 7 minutes to 10 minutes long, so bear with me, stick around. But first I want to talk to you about one of our sponsors and partners, of which we are a platinum certified partner, and that is our partners over at TrendSpider. Now what I want to share with you is a chart of TrendSpider and how it helped me out yesterday when we were looking for an area of support to begin accumulating shares of the NUGT because as you can see on this daily chart it was being distributed quite hard every time it rallied it caught a bid sellers moved in to take that bid and so I said okay uh, it's getting a bit oversold here let's uh, let's toy around with trend spider let's uh, identify where there might be historical support and looking on this daily chart, you're not being told much in terms of where there might be support. You have a bit right here, which we sliced right through like a hot knife through butter. That's not going to help you. So what I wanted to do was take a look from a higher level view, the weekly chart, which I'll bring up now, but overlay a monthly, as you can note here, and as, as it's represented here in dash green line, I wanted to overlay a monthly support level to help identify where I have reduced risk and where I can maximize my reward by buying shares at historical support. Now, we're not at it quite yet, but we're very, very close. In fact, we could be there today. So what we're looking for now is a reversal day off of that support level, and then we will begin buying more aggressively. Right now, it's just nibble, nibble, nibble time. So, in the, a click of a button, this is how TrendSpider helped me out in one day. A case study, I wasn't planning on looking at this variant, this weekly versus monthly support level, but I did. TrendSpider helped me out. I suggest that you take a look at their product. It can help you too. Let's segue now over and into the pre-market activity. And again, click that link below if you watch this on YouTube. Click above if you watch this on the blog. It's also included in my gold level me member package and for members who join after March the 15th it will soon be included in this silver level membership package more details to come email me if you have any questions Robert at the contrarian trader.com or leave a comment on YouTube or Facebook whatever we'll kick things off with the S&P e mini futures now yesterday I warned that these are all four hour charts I warned that the strength that we were seeing in the morning may just fade and that's exactly what happened so please don't fall victim to these thugs on Wall Street looking to take your money all they're looking to do is transfer wealth from you to them don't go chasing this market in the early hours of trade wait to see how the markets are prepared to close here's where I was talking yesterday morning when the futures were higher and then we faded. We are now rallying back this morning. So what we need to see here is a new higher high. And then we can talk. Now we did see strength in the transports yesterday afternoon. They flashed a reversal day, which is good stuff. The transports have been a leading indicator. They dropped in advance of the S&P 500 dropping this week. So let's see whether or not their rally yesterday will translate into a rally on the S&P 500. Let's go over to the NASDAQ. Before we leave the S&P 500, what I just drew here was a support and resistance level on a four-hour basis. And I want to see before the open whether or not we break down or do we break out. Now, if we break out above this green line here, that means that this red line will act as an upper band of resistance. We'll want to see a close above this green line and especially a new high above 2932.75. Until then, all we are 
are bystanders with this market. Let's take a look at the NASDAQ. A, a very similar chart in that we are bouncing back this morning rather smartly. We're up uh, a little over half a percentage point. But we have not taken out the highs of yesterday morning. So we are in a wait and see mode here. And the markets will send us signals. Right now to buy this market, you would be buying on hope when you should fear. Now, unlike the S&P 500, we have broken out above the upper band of resistance here. The question is, does it close there? This chart will close at 9 a.m., this morning Eastern Standard Time. We want to see a close above this upper band of resistance. Again, right now, all we are are bystanders. Watching and seeing what's going to happen. Sitting on our cash. Let's take a look at the U.S. dollar, which has been strong, and it remains strong. It's picking up steam yet again. And I'm happy to see that because that means it's going to pressure the gold miners lower. The shorts will get complacent, and that will allow for a nice short covering rally, probably next week now moving on to gold and how it's behaving relative to the price of the US dollar it's doing what you'd expect it is down on the morning a lot of blood has been spilled here these past several days so right now I'm not seeing any signals yet that the market is sending that we have a bottom on gold uh, we did bounce off of support last seen back on the 23rd of April and we hit that support level yesterday so the question is now uh, do we put in a higher low and begin to break out and put in higher highs at least on a short-term basis or do, does this support level fail and what I'll be doing later on is going over to Trend Spider and toying around with historical support and resistance scenarios. Let's leave things off with Bitcoin. Bitcoin is surging this morning. Wow, we are up big. We are long of Bitcoin too. Good morning. I spoke about Bitcoin several days ago. And I think it was on Swing Trading Today. Well, I said, if we broke out above this upper band of resistance, we'll probably head up to a 6,000 handle. And here's our price target. Now, we will probably find some resistance here at the 6,079 level. We are a bit overbought relative to the third standard deviation Bollinger Band. Let me make sure because these sometimes convert back to a two standard. Yeah, this is a third standard deviation Bollinger Band. So expect a pullback here either today Monday on Bitcoin because relative to its third standard deviation Bollinger Band it is overbought and it may not pull back it may just trade sideways much as what it did right here when it last surged above the 3d Bollinger Band it consolidated and then it moved on so by no means what I say go booking profits right now if you want to go ahead but uh, expect a pause and or a pullback. That is it for this morning, folks. Please uh, sign up for the 14-day free trial offer. Trend Spider is included with the silver and gold level memberships. There's a different level of membership for Trend Spider within the gold level membership. It's a higher level of sophistication with Trend Spider. If you're not ready for a membership, that's fine. I would still encourage you to take their seven-day free trial offer over at Trend Spider. Check out their product. Again, click that link below. If you watch this on YouTube, click the link above if you're watching this on the blog. Everybody have a profitable trading day and be well.